guys, what's up? I'm Nakia Monet, and I'm on Netflix's Black Carpet for the brand new funny show, Unstable, starring Rob Lowe and his son, John Owen Lowe. We have tons of interviews, tons of conversations, and we even made an icon laugh. Make sure you check it out. Is it? The buzz is right here. I think Rob it Lowe. might be. It's right here with you. It's here. <laughs> Congratulations with Unstable. You and your son, John, have the best sense of humor. How did it go from trolling online on Instagram to now a show on Netflix? Thank God we he decided to make such fun of his dad or we wouldn't have a television show. Um, people loved that whole thing so much that, it be, that we were like, you know what? Maybe we should make a show about this. And, and here we are. Listen, and Rob, you are a famous actor, and now you have two sons. Did you ever think that your son would now cross over and be writing and creating shows with you and, you know, working with you in the acting world? I mean, I, I, tr I tried to steer them into the real world, and one of my sons listened, and he is an attorney and works in finance. He's here tonight, Matthew. I love it. And John Owen, the, the call of the genetics was just too strong. It was too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Rob, I also love that you're in the podcast world right now. With literally, I'm obsessed with it. I know I can't say who's your favorite guest, but do you have a favorite episode and a favorite moment? You know what? It, it, I think... The answer is no, because I enjoy talking to everybody, but I've loved talking to Oprah, I've loved talking to, to Gwyneth, I love having Chris Pratt on. Um, I've, I've been, I've, and then my musical heroes like Lindsey Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac and my Yacht Rock crap. I love that. Yeah, I'm Mr. Yacht Rock, so, you know. <laughs> yes, and last question for you, Rob, because you, a child star, you've been in the business for a while. How does Rob Lowe keep centered and stable? A lot of therapy. Um, <laughs> by the way, I'm not kidding. Um, and, and, you know, listen, I've been sober for 33 years. Amazing. Congratulations. You know, th thank you. And, th you know, that, that, believe me, you wouldn't want to say, hey, let me tell you something. Here's the thing. Uh, wait, hang on. Can I just? I want to tell you. When I was with Judd Nelson in the 80s, we, we got to. St. Elmo's Fire, I'm just saying. Right. I'm happy that you were sober, but that would have been, you know. A little bit too much. No, too much. Too much. Too much. Hey, I'm very patient. Oh, you're so sweet. And you are the star of the show, so. Listen. That still sounds weird to me. <laughs> but first of all, congratulations on Unstable. You and your dad have some of the funniest sense of humor on the planet, especially on social media. So how did it go from trolling each other on social media to a show called Unstable? Well, the man himself is unstable, and our relationship has been unstable at times, but the truth is is that if it wasn't as vol if our relationship wasn't as volatile as it has been and is, we wouldn't be here today, and we got so much closer shooting the show, and uh, he's one of my best friends, and I got to spend the summer shooting a show with one of my best friends. It's I love that. And of course you guys play father and son, but I know they're complete opposite from you guys in real life, but did anything in real life pull over to the characters, or what was that experience like working with Dad? Because not only were you acting, this is something that you guys co-wrote and created together. No, a lot bled over, to be clear. It was like we would see, sort of flow in and out of like character and then just ribbing each other in our like cast holding and being I'd be like you sucking in your gut right now like did you eat two pints of ice cream last night and he'd be like shut up I can bench more than you and then it's like hey we need you on set we're like okay cool and then you walk over to set and do our thing I absolutely love it and just seeing the men's health interview that was amazing you guys are so funny I know it's hectic and you you know you you are the son of a famous dad and you are now an actor and you're now an executive producer but what do you do to stay stable and calm and center well, I certainly don't think of myself as any of those things. That helps. But you are. Yeah, it's, I guess yeah, it's true. And it sounds nice hearing it. Yeah. But um, I live a very boring life on purpose. I, I, I don't like, I paint, I play piano, I sit in my house and watch reality TV. And uh, I'm on like Instagram trying to figure out like the Sandoval drama. I'm doing oh, today's a reunion, I'm just saying. I know. Today's a reunion. I, We're waiting. I know. Okay. You don't need to tell me. Team Ariana? Obviously. Who's, are there people that don't? There are people who are being weird. But I'm with, yeah, being like, I mean, I'm with the cheater. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't usually wear chrome. I usually am more of like a girl, gold girly. Gold girl too, yeah. I've been stepping into chrome lately. No, my stylist is on point. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, congratulations with Unstable. Who are you? What's your character? Let let us know. So I play Luna. She's a biotech engineer. She's very smart. Um, she works under Rob in the lab, and she's very weird. She's a big weirdo. <laughs> we love.
up weird. Uh, because this is a comedy and an ensemble cast and a great cast at that, what was the chemistry like with you guys working on set? I'm sure it was tons of jokes. It was just, jo it was literally just jokes the whole time. Like, we would make fun of each other if we messed up. <laughs> we would just, like, you know, like be, I don't know, just trying to, like, make each other laugh on set all the time, which, you know, makes it so fun and, like, you're not actually working. And it's a comedy. It's supposed to be fun and light. I think you'll be able to see that in the show. I mean, just from the carpet alone, just seeing the energy from you guys, it just seems like a lot of fun. For those that don't know, how would you describe Unstable? Oh, it is silly. <laughs> Everything about it is so silly, like the sense of humor, the characters. It's ridiculous. It is, like, funny, you know? Just, like, one of those comedies you can throw up and be like, I just want to laugh for half an hour. Like, that's unstable. And we love it. And we love we love unstableness. Yeah, yeah. We, oh, all the characters are unstable. Oh, I love that. I'm obsessed. Okay, yeah. I guess that's, like, in the title. <laughs> amazing. But congratulations on Unstable. Can't wait for it to come out, everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice talking to you. I love a suit, and I love black. Black's my favorite color. Oh. Wow, that night it came as your favorite birthday present. Exactly. Thank you. Well, congratulations on Ensemble. I mean, Ensemble. Let's do that again. But it is an Ensemble. So what I was going to say was, because it's an Ensemble cast, yeah. congratulations on Unstable, because it is an Ensemble cast and because this is comedy, what is the chemistry like working on set? Is it always jokes? Is it funny? Tell me the, uh, the, the experience for you. Yeah, it was a wonderful atmosphere on set. Really, really fun. Loved working with these guys. Um, obviously working with Rob was insane yes. and bizarre and like something that took me a minute to get over initially because I was genuinely starstruck and couldn't get my lines out um, which was hilarious but yeah it was so fun Fred Armisen my god like just like comedy greats you know and I learned so much as an actor just watching those people because they just they just commit and they get on with it and uh, yeah, it was really, really cool. Awesome. Well, thank you. Congratulations on Unstable. Yeah, I'm sparkling. I love it. It's kind of crazy. It is really crazy right now. It's crazy. Well, it's a good thing crazy because congratulations on Unstable. Okay. I'm okay. excited to be here. <laughs> For those that don't know what Unstable is, let us know. Explain what the show is. This is a... Okay, well, the log line, no. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful show about a father-son. It's about, it explores the father-son dynamic, right? Um, and a father owns a company and he wants, you know, he needs a son to come on board to help him sort of navigate the ship post-death of the mother and wife, right? So it sounds like, oh, but it's done with such sort of light, eccentric, heartfelt humor. Yeah, yeah. What I also love because we love humor and I love an ensemble cast and I, it seems like you guys have amazing chemistry. What is it like working with everyone on set and having that humor on set with you guys? It was really fun and I was a little intimidated because I came in a little bit like towards the middle of the season and everybody kind of had already their groove, you know, but they were so welcoming. Everybody was really nice. And I, it felt like easy, you know, I mean, not like still work, but you know, everybody was really cool. It was a really nice set to be on. And as a busy actor, how do you keep yourself balanced and stable and centered? What are you doing? That's a good question because I feel unstable right now. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like we always feel unstable on carpet. Right. Unstable now. I mean, like, because I'm also doing another show called The Good, yeah. right? The Good Doctor. So I, like, flew in today for this, and then I fly back tomorrow for work, right? So, but I love it because I love doing this, and I mean that when I say that. I love to work. So, but finding the balance, that's tricky, but it's also key, right? Because I'm also a mom. So, you know, just got to balance work and life and self-care. That's important, whatever that means for people. Well, you look good doing it. I absolutely love it. Ma'am, thank you, ma'am. This is so great. The black disco ball. Where's the buzz? Where's the buzz? Where's the Where is the buzz? Oh, uh, first of all, congratulations on the show Unstable. For those that don't know, how would you describe Unstable? Oh, it's a show about a father and son rebuilding their relationship after being separate for many years. And really, the son is trying to help the father get his stuff together. And a lot of us have these parents' relationships where we're separate, like my father's in Detroit, where I'm here, and we don't get to talk much. And this is one of those where 
they get to work it out, you know. And I, I really appreciate. I really that really drew me to the project. That that idea of the story. I love it. I do love a comedy, and I love an ensemble cast. And it feels like that you guys have everything going on and working with John and Rob. What's the chemistry like working with everyone on set? Oh yeah, it's great. I mean, I got to work with Sean Clifford, uh, Fred Armisen, uh, Aaron Branch, who just you just interviewed. <laughs> um, I mean, these and, and Rob and Johnny, they're like magic together. I mean, they have a little shorthand with their own humor, but you can tell. Yeah. I mean, they just kind of blend work together. This is something they've cultivated for years, I'm sure. But uh, it was great seeing them both. I love it. Uh, as far as like Rob and Johnny, because they're father and son working together, if you can work with any relative of yours, who would you want to work with? Um, my sister, Monique. I don't know. <laughs> She's five years younger than me. Uh, but we are, have that same thing. We have this shorthand with each other, and we crack each other up. And uh, I think, yeah, it would be nice to work with her because she's one to always put me in my place, bring me down to earth. <laughs> she's like the real sister. You have those sisters that are just real. Yes. Which one you play? Yes, exactly. I'm doing really good. How are you? Great. You look very stylish. I love this. Thank you so much. Yes. I love it. Congratulations on the brand new show. Uh, for those who don't know, because the show's not out yet, who's your character and who are you playing? Yeah, so I play uh, Malcolm Drummond. Uh, he is a funny guy. I felt like I was able to pull so many of my own experiences from the role of Malcolm and kind of bring that into it. But the role was great. Uh, he basically was Ellis Dragon. Ellis Dragon is Rob Lowe's character. Was Ellis Dragon's assistant. Got promoted to project manager. And he's just jealous of the fact that Jackson, who is all played by John Owen Lowe, who is Rob Lowe's son, is just jealous of the relationship that both Ellis and Jackson have. Okay, for those that don't know, how would you describe Unstable? I would say Unstable is a hilarious and witty uh, comedy wow. that is helmed by Victor Fresco and Rob Lowe, and a lot of people know them within the comedy space. A lot of people know them from Victor Fresco with like the Santa Clarita Diet, and also know him from Better Off Ted and Rob Lowe from like Austin Powers and Parks and Recreation, and their comedic sensibility really shines through uh, on this entire show. It's hilarious.